Hey, welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. I'm your host, Jeff Hutzel, Chief Cloud Officer at AuditMax. Hey, you guys know Tech Talk is a show we talk to IT leaders from really across the country in a number of different areas and disciplines uh, to get their perspective and insights on leadership, things happening in technology today, as well as their response to the, the COVID pandemic we've seen. We've always got really great, interesting guests on the show. Today, is a, we've got a fantastic guest here today and a good friend of the show, John Mallinger, who's the CIO and Vice President with Harden here in Jacksonville. John, thanks for joining us. Hey, I appreciate the invite. Thank you. Yeah, buddy, we're glad to have you on here. Happy to uh, talk to you and get your perspective a little bit. So, so first of all, folks that aren't familiar with Harden, maybe it's a good place to start. Just tell them a little about the company and kind of what makes you guys different. Sure. Um, so Harden, we're an insurance broker. Um, and what a lot of people don't know is most of the broker industry has been bought up by very large brokers or venture capital groups. Um, so we're independent. So we're, we're one of the few. And uh, we're one of the, the big regional players uh, here in Northeast Florida. So our focus is here in Florida. Uh, we definitely work outside the state as well. Um, but you know what a broker can do for a company is really come in and understand their needs. You know we are going to be a partner and really help them minimize their risk uh, with the proper insurance. Yeah, that's great. I mean, you guys have obviously been in business since the 50s. You've got a great reputation here in town for sure, for just that reason, right? So helping people understand what people need and helping them make the right pick. So yeah, that's that's fantastic. Um, so I'm curious to get your perspective with all the kind of craziness that's gone on here the past few months. You know, what's that been like for Harden? What's it been like you guys kind of making that shift uh, to send everybody work from home and, and kind of what's your environment look like today? Yeah, so we had an environment where... Um, maybe 5% work from home, it, it, very minimal. It might, it, it might have been less than that. Um, and so when the pandemic hit, we did a dramatic shift where we pushed everybody 95% from home. You know, it, it, you know whenever things happen, happens, it always happens at once. Um, I was getting ready to do a hardware refresh uh, to get additional capacity for our remote desktop environment. And of course that wasn't finished. So. We had a crazy, you know, four week period getting everybody moved over, helping people understand how things work differently if they've never worked from home. Um, and we also came back around and introduced Teams, uh, Microsoft Teams to the group. So um, that has been absolutely positive. Um, you know, we're really embracing the technology. We're actually moving our soft phones over to Teams right now. And it's really helped us on how we can collaborate with our customers as well by offering the Teams platform, um, as well as, you know, if they do need a little bit of help with some video technology and things, you know, we're willing to help out with that as well. Um, so the transition was definitely a tough period for the IT department, uh, but it's been very successful. Yeah. I know you guys are like a lot of organizations. You've kind of had those plans to be a you know, cloud first organization and pushing all that stuff there. I think this just speeds up that timeline quite a bit. Um, you know, we've seen some different perspectives from CIOs that we talk to. You know, some folks have kind of gone the mindset of I'm just going to hunker down, you know, and kind of wait for the storm to pass and see where things lay. And then we've got other guys that I think my guests knowing you is kind of more like yourself. That's more the mindset of let's not a good, let a good crisis go to waste. If that's the quote you hear used a lot. What, what have you guys been yeah. doing during this pandemic as far as helping to, to add technology to the company and make that digital transformation? You know, I think, you know, we've talked a lot about how we can digi digitize uh, processes. And um, with everybody working from home, it's become very important to us. Uh, and so how can we automate that? How can we have workflows? Um, how can we share data better? Um, you know, initiatives where people would be kind of hesitant. Um, now they're like, no, we need to do this or we need to do it right now. And so for me, it's it's a challenge on the other side uh, with priority as well as getting these projects completed. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a good problem. You know, my list is actually getting longer than shorter, you know, but that's a good thing. Yeah. What, what do you think kind of surprised you the most as you've gone through this process? Um, you know, I, I, it, for us, we are very customer centric and, and, and our customer is so important and it's creating that right balance with our customers because we have some customers that are not comfortable with technology. 
And so how do you do something as simple as, um, you know, picking up a check uh, versus sending a wire um, and just kind of talking to them and having those conversations? Uh, and so those those are the things that are pretty sensitive because um, we can do a lot of things internally. Uh, but then when we come back and, and look at and work with our customers externally, we, we have to really take a different view uh, when we look at that. Yeah, I know you guys have, you always talk, and you guys have spent a lot of time kind of understanding that user experience and what that looks like, you know, how you make that more frictionless and easier for, for your customers to engage with your team. So I think that's great. But what about from a leadership standpoint? I mean, we talk a lot about, you know, shifting, giving people capabilities to work from home, but from a, how you support your team members and manage your team and just the overall culture of the company, what's the perspective been like for that and kind of keeping that intact during this time? Yeah, so I, you know, it's interesting you bring that up because we're talking about that a lot right now. Um, so when the pandemic first hit, it was like, it was for us, we kind of called it COVID 1.0. It was, what are the things that we can do to rapidly adjust to the environment and continue to get our work completed every day? And there's a lot of things that, that we would do that we were just helping out. Um, and so, you know, we do have a small crew that's in the office and, you know, the things that they do, uh, became critical for the groups that were not inside the office. Well, now this isn't temporary. This is long term, and so now we're we're starting what you know what I kind of call our COVID 2.0. With okay, well, how are we managing? You know, are we having the proper touches with our staff or with our teams? You know, how are our different teams work together remotely? Um, as well as some of these things that we could just kind of handle as one-offs on, well, we really need a permanent solution um, because we're, we're starting to get worn out a little bit um, with just kind of filling in with these, these stopgap measures. So, you know, I don't think we have all the answers yet, uh, but I think the first step is really talking about it and understanding that, hey, things have permanently changed. And we have to change the way we manage and the way we touch uh, our, our, our employees. Um, you know, keeping our company culture uh, is very important to us. Uh, and now with everybody working from home, how do we continue to push our culture uh, when not everybody's in the office? Um, so we definitely have some inter interesting challenges to continue to work through. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting. My, my wife will tell you I'm kind of the serial optimist. I'm always trying to find the bright side of a, a situation. I mean, as you look at, at everything that's happened you know, over the past four or five months and you start to think about what the lasting, you know, what the lasting lessons will be from this or what will, you know, what will we take from this that's going to be valuable come from a bad situation? What do you think kind of those top few things will be as we kind of lead out of this and hopefully get back to a, some semblance of normal or whatever that new normal is? What do you think those lessons from this will, will really come with? You know, I think there's some lessons um, with, um, you know, the balance between your personal life and work. Um, and, and so I, I think, you know, really people are going to reevaluate and kind of understand what's really important to them. Um, and, and so they're going to be asking for some things like, well, I want to permanently work from home. Uh, and so a company that where we were 95% in the office, um, I think we're going to have to kind of change and we're going to have to adjust to that. Um, and we're going to find our balance. And I think that's, that's good. Um, but yeah, I mean, th that, that's the thing is it's really, it's the, we're going to have more people working outside of the office. I think we eventually will start saying, well, do you even need to live in Jacksonville? Or can you live someplace else uh, as long as you're doing you're doing your work and you can get on your, you know, your video calls and talk to your manager? Um, you know, I think we're going to get more comfortable with that. Um, and so, you know, those are the things. So, you know, insurance, you know, banking, you know, we're, we're considered kind of old school in a lot of areas. Uh, but the companies that really embrace digital and embrace the future, I think we're going to thrive. Uh, that's great. Well, and we know you're one of the guys that's pushing that and on the forefront of it. And you've been a great and valuable part of the IT community here in Jacksonville as well. So we're always excited to get your perspective and hear from you on, on things like this. So if, if, John, if people want to connect with you or find out more about Harden, where can they go to, to learn a little bit more? Yeah, so our website is uh, hardeninsight.com. Um, you can see our main areas, you know, 
you know, we specialize in commercial insurance uh, and employee benefits. Uh, we have a small uh, private insurance uh, group as well. So check out our website. Um, if you have any questions there, you know, you can see me on LinkedIn. You know, there's not a whole lot of John Mallingers out there, so I'm easy to find. Um, but yeah, you know, just link in, shoot me a message and, you know, we can talk. That's great. John, thanks so much for joining us today, buddy. We appreciate it. Appreciate your uh, perspective and comments. All right. Well, thank you. Again, I appreciate the invite. Thank you. You got it. And thank you guys for joining us. We'll uh, catch you here on the next Tech Talk. Take care.